Back here at home, a weekend of deadly violence across this country with at least three mass shootings. Police say one person is dead and 22 others hurt after gunfire erupted during a Juneteenth celebration outside of Chicago. And one person was killed and nine others injured overnight in downtown St. Louis. The victims ranging in age from 19 to 15 years old. Here's ABC's Alex Perche. In a year that's already seen more mass shootings than days, at least three more overnight. In Willowbrook, Illinois, police say at least 23 people were shot at a Juneteenth celebration in a strip mall parking lot overnight. 400 people outside, female screaming, um, report of gunshots. One person killed, others injured, fleeing the gunfire. We just started hard to shoot cub before we had us, so we dropped down. It was chaos. Police say they don't know how many suspects they're looking for or how many firearms were used, and they're still investigating a motive. It's kind of becoming something where it's like inescapable. Active shooting at Gorge Amphitheater, not requesting any state assistance. And in Washington state, authorities say at least two people were killed and another two injured after a gunman opened fire near the Beyond Wonderland Electronic Dance Music Festival overnight. The sheriff's department says the shooter walked the campgrounds firing randomly into the crowd. A suspect also injured now in custody. The festival has canceled the rest of this weekend's events. And in St. Louis, police say a 17 year old is dead and nine other teens injured after a shooting at a late night party in an office building. Police are trying to figure out how the group got inside. Officers recovering multiple firearms, including an AR style rifle. Police have arrested a teenager in connection with the shooting. Lindsay, the Gun Violence Archive reports there have been at least 310 mass shootings across the U.S. this year shootings resulting in the deaths of more than 820 kids ages 17 and under. Lindsay. Youth firearm deaths on the rise here. Alex, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.